Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise and welcome back to this island that we find ourselves on complete with dead shark because we are on the very edge of the world. We're on the very edge of the world map which means the sharks are now swimming through the sand, the shadows are a bit glitchy, the sun is hot, the sky is blue and so is the sea. Everything is accounted for. However, last time we were upgrading our raft. We were doing things to it like adding extra storage so we've got nine extra uh, extra container storage locations on the front here and here. Uh, we also have our raft. It is designed as a 4x4 raft and it is designed to take a gyrocopter so we can just fly to another island should we need to. One of the things that we don't have, because we do have the tiller, we do have the anchor, but we do not have we do not have a sail, so I think what we should do is put a sail on here, and that'll be good. And then we can load everything up and head off to another island. A new island, a new world, because I think we had we did a little fly around. I don't think there was that much on this island. Except for those two big wrecks. And we've taken everything we need off of that wreck, and we took everything we need off the other wreck. So yeah, uh, apart from doing battle with the sun, we have another in-game 20 minutes. So we might actually cook, or we might not. Don't know. Depends. I think we could just go for a swim in the sea, just uh, just momentarily. So what we need to do is uh, just bring up the crafting menu. Hopefully we don't drown. Um, go to vehicles and go to propulsion. And it is uh, one cloth, two sticks, and one lashing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Also, we should probably get the spear gun back out. It's a carbon spear gun. It's a new game plus. So if you've completed the game at least once, then you get the option to start with the new crates, new starting crates. It is now 1503. So SPF at the bottom, which is the sun protection factor, is now going to go up. Ooh, poison boy. We could have just accidentally walked over that lad. That would have been a bit of a problem. So the shadows, yeah, the shadows are a bit glitchy. I say that every time, but there are 50 island tiles, 46 islands three boss monster tiles and one aircraft carrier tile um oh and we got some water nice these are all typically top we should probably pick up the yes pick these guys up and maybe top up our clay water bottles Ooh, we were a lot lower than i thought we were then we can just drink uh yeah just one we only need one Okay, fine. So uh, we need some cloth. I think I put everything on the raft last time because uh, I did organize everything. So we need one of these. Nice. Uh, one of these and two sticks. Easy, easy peasy. We've got two sticks over here in a stick pile. So we got one, two. So what we can do now is go to vehicles. We can go to the propulsion and we can go to the raft sail. We've got these two little arrows. Whoop! There we go. And the arrow is a direction of travel. So what we'll do is I'll put it... So that'll go up. So now, if we do run out of fuel, we have the ability to... Uh, oh, those shadows, man. We have the ability to use our sail and still get somewhere. What we can do is put another sail on the other side for extra torque. Not extra speed, but extra torque. T-O-R-Q-U-E. And I think I'll just leave the front open. Good. I think everything is where we need it. So we've got a bunch of stuff, lots of treasure and bits and pieces. We've got some lanterns, uh, got some fibrous leaves, got a little bit of pee pee in case we get poisoned. Nice. I think uh, we've got some lanterns on the beach. Let's not forget those. And we've got some tools. So what we'll do is we'll pick up the tools and the water because it's kind of getting late in the day. It's uh, 20 past four. So yeah, what was I saying? The edge of the world gets a little bit weird. Um, shadows get weird, sharks start swimming under the sand. And if you keep going in that direction, that direction in... Oh, I'm going to pick that. Let's have some more people. Uh, if you keep going in that direction, basically you'll hit a wall. In the old days, it was a line of yellow boys. Or if you happen to be American, buoys. Why? Because Americans have a problem with vowels. I, I don't know. Watching Star Trek is an education. Um, okay, so yeah, we've got some bits and pieces that we can do. This is a tiger. It's dead. That's just my my assessment of the situation. Um, the other thing we could probably do is just take our axe and get some, some other bits and pieces on the go in terms of fibrous leaves. I think we took out all... Yeah, we did. 
So we took out all of the yuccas last time. We do have some fibrous leaves on the raft. I didn't notice that. But what we'll do is we'll put some down, get them generating water, because they don't generate water overnight. That's a little thing that doesn't happen. And then we need to work out a way of getting our raft kind of in that direction. I think it's kind of okay. The trouble is we have a physics object on top of another physics object. So the gyrocopter is on top of a raft and they're both... Oh, we've got some fibrous leaves here. Hmm, interesting. What I might do is put them in my pants, jump up here, and then you know slam a box, slam my face into a box of stuff. There we go. Put the fibrous leaves in, put the la Oh, wait, what? Oh, different box. Um, which one of these had PP in it? There we go. So we'll stack everything. Get out the torch. Make sure we're not about to jump on that poison boy over there. Because that would be embarrassing. Food and water situation is okay. What are we going to have for breakfast though? Hmm, don't know. Don't know. Not thought about that one. We can always climb a tree and get some... Can we climb this tree? Uh... Yes, we can hold down E and you can climb the tree. Pick the coconut and then... So if you didn't know, yes, you can climb trees. You just hold down E next to the base and you can climb them. Good, good, good. I think everything is where it absolutely needs to be. Uh, what I'd like to do is get to that island. It might take some manipulating of the raft, but we have some time in the morning so we can do that as the sun goes down on what was a beautiful day in paradise. So yeah, weird island. I need two wrecks that we could see. Hmm, curious. So we've been to that island over there, and I think that one over there. Not sure about that one. Not sure about that one. Don't think we've been to that one. So we've got places we can go. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to start traveling last thing in the day because otherwise we'd be we'd be sailing overnight. And uh, yes, if anything happens to the raft, like. If the if the gyrocopter decides to freak out and slam the raft into the uh, floor of the ocean, then it's a bit of a problem. These don't generate water overnight, but what they do do is generate water as soon as you start putting stuff in them. So we can save and sleep. We'll have some water for the morning. Um, so we can do that. Save. And then sleep. And then we awake on another beautiful day in paradise. Okay, cool. Uh, whip out the axe, give it a little tickle in the coconut, uh, drink it, mmm, delightful, and then we need to get the chocolate out of the coconut, so give it another couple of hits. Oh, there it is. Uh, so we can just eat the bounty, mmm, delicious, oh, delightful. Okay, pick up the lantern, pick up the bed, put both in your pants. We have a full inventory of useful stuff. We have a beach of dead animals. And... Yeah, we're full on water. I'm going to leave these two with a little bit of water in them. They'll generate some. So if we ever come back here, we won't have a bit... Of, we won't have a, a problem. Um, right. Don't know how to do this bit. Hmm, poison boy there. And this is a little bit of a... A little bit of an issue, so all I do is just drag the front wheel over. Drag that over a little bit, because I don't want this touching the side. So it's a 4x4 raft with the floors missing in the centre, but what I don't want is it kind of... I wonder if we drag the... If we drag the gyrocopter a little bit. We can kind of go sideways. I wonder if we drag it enough. Because uh, the anchor is still down. The anchor is way over there now. Um, yeah, beach is clear of things. Oof. Does not feel good. Alright, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. So what we do is we bring this up. And then we get in C. Ooh, I don't like bubbles. And we turn the whole lot around. Jump back up. We're drifting sideways so we can get on the motor. <gasps> Uh, ooh, okay. Nope, anchor down. Anchor, anchor down. Anchor down. Anchor down. Right. Then what we can do is... No, this is not good. This is not good. Good. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, didn't want, didn't, didn't need that. There's a shark down there. Oh, bums. It's a fast boy as well. Ugh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What a world! What a world! Okay. Can we, can we get around enough? I don't want the gyrocopter getting upset. Uh, speed is the way to get this thing turning. See, we have a turning circle of a small planet. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be able to thread the needle on this. Uh, Alright. Come on, come on, give it the beans, give it the beans, give it the business. Give it the beans and the business. Oof. I mean, ah, ew, ew, we, we just touched the... Hmm, things are getting a little bit... A little bit tricksy. Okay, so fine, 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 fine. I didn't want to fight the shark because it just delays our. Oh, it delays our our uh, departure, and I don't want to be stuck out on the sea. The other thing is, yes, the sea is a little bit misty and a little bit blurred because of TXAA anti-aliasing. It's not recommended to turn it on, but if you are suffering from glitchy shadows, then it's the only thing you can turn on. Lowering the quality of the shallows, uh, shadows doesn't help. The only other thing you can do is turn them directly off. And that just makes the world look weird. Weird. All right. So we're going to go to this new island because we haven't been there. But we're going into uh, we're going into the waves. So what I don't want is the gyrocopter to raise up off the raft to become detached and then slam back down or move. Because you could end up, well, flipping the raft, losing the gyrocopter. There's a big old rock down there. Yeah, there is. That's not a rock. That's a wreck. Oh. Uh, okay, cool. We're in the shallow water, so that should now... Um, let's be sh All right, good. So we came from over there. Yeah, the edge of the world is... The edge of the world is very glitchy incredibly glitchy hi giant crabs you guys are gonna have fun what ah the tiny little one got my foot yeah what we might want to do is actually head back towards the center of the map where everything's a little less messed up because we can't go we cannot go any further in that direction there's nothing to go to if you do hit the wall in our particular raft we don't go anywhere um yeah yeah that's actually a good idea it's a good idea to head back hi guys i'm gonna go and see because well if uh jean-michel jarre taught us anything about the life aquatic it is that pigs don't fly no it is that um crabs aren't uh aren't fish That was the lad, right? Jean-Michel Jarre? No, Jacques Cousteau. Oh, well, one of them one of them plays music with lasers and the other one is a fishy boy. Which one's which? You decide. No right answers. Uh, okay, fine. Bonk. So, yes. I'm just going to put that down so we don't drift sideways anymore. I'm going to head. So, we were there. I'm going to head towards... What is... What is that? What is going on there? I don't really want to be on this island for too long, but at the same time, there's some weirdness going on. So what is this? Baby don't hurt me. Oh, uh, the container will have nothing in it. What is going on there? Oh, it's the... Oh, I see. It's the top of a wreck, right? Yeah, the containers never have anything in them, but you'll... I know everyone's just like, please look inside the container. Just, just do it. Maybe there is something in there. And I'm like, no, there's, there's nothing. Let's see, there's never anything in them. You can break them apart using an axe, but it only really works if you're going to live on this island, because trying to take stuff from one place to another, using, using a small raft at any rate, won't, won't help. So yeah, we're, I, the, the shadows are just glitching out too badly. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to do it. I'll do it. So what's our what's our water situation like? Ah, uh, Finwar is okay. 
That island's ahead of us. We're going across the waves. Fuel is 50%. Fine. Do it. Do it. So I'll just have to leave you until until somebody fixes Unity, I guess. Good luck with that. There's so many problems with Unity. I mean, it's a great engine. Everything here runs in Unity. Uh, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Though, oh no. We're being chased by a shark. Okay, so we have two problems. Uh, we're being chased by a shark, probably, because the music has just suddenly cut out. Also, we're getting a bit of oscillation going on. And if you saw, the, ra the gyrocopter has now moved. So I'm trying to look more at the raft and less at the sea, because the sea is a blurry mess. We can't really see what's going on. That shark music? I don't know. Ah, uh, the oscillation. Ah, ooh. Yep, we just stopped dead in the water. Oof. I'm giving it full right rudder. The gyrocopter has definitely moved and is now causing us to drift. So we, we it is doing exactly what I thought it would do. Um, are we are we down on the left? Oh, I don't know. Uh, we can drift on the ocean current to get past this wreck. Oof. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Ah, uh, the gyrocopter keeps hitting the side of the raft and dragging us around sideways. I'm hoping when we get to the shallow water, it's going to ease up. Okay, okay, okay. Turn this off. <gasps> that... <laughs> Ooh, that could have been a problem. That could have been a real issue. Okay. Uh, uh, bleh. See, when the when the gyrocopter moves around, the raft moves around... So we can we can scoot ourselves out off into the ocean if we're not careful. Um, it wasn't quite in the center, and the the oscillation of the sea and the oscillation that we had. That's better. That's a po that's almost perfect, perfect. Um, and that does mean our anchor has moved around a little bit. Okay, fine, cool. The shadows are a little less glitchy here. Mm, kind of, kind of, kinda. Were we followed in by anything? That's the question. I don't know. I don't see anything. But then you never know. What is the time, by the way? Uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. So that's an easy wreck to get to. I'm not going to do it right now. Between one and uh, between ten o'clock in the morning and two o'clock in the afternoon is the, uh, are the best times to go diving for wrecks because that's the time at which the uh, at which the light is brightest underwater so just just so you know just so you know what we're gonna do is gonna drop the bed down and I'm gonna drop a lantern down and that means yes everything is fine food and water situation is a little bit of a problem we're not gonna get sh uh, we're not gonna get snakes but we are gonna get other creatures on this island ah it's nice that the shadows aren't glitching too, too badly here. Let's have a little once round. Oh, hello. Is that another container? It is. The LOD hasn't quite popped in. i tell you what we could do. If we were worried, that worried about food. Uh, we could get some crab rangoon on the go. Nah, you can't. You can't make crab rangoon. We don't have the sauce. But we do have the giant crab now, so we can make a fire pit and literally just cook dinner over the fire pit. Uh, so we can do that, not a problem. I'll come here and just drop the crab down. Actually, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't eat... Uh, I just dropped my axe. I don't eat seafood, so I don't really know what it is. I'm assuming it's like a crab with like, um, like a sauce, maybe? Like a crab sauce? Like a vinaigrette dressing, maybe? I don't know. I do know the secret sauce and McDonald's thingy, the meaty boy is um is Thousand Island dressing. It's it's literally Thousand Island dressing. Okay, so the the sun is gone. Uh, go down under the water. So it is now two o'clock and the water is starting to get murky, which is why I didn't want to be hanging around the other uh, other wreck too much because 
You can't really see things like sharks coming at you. Honk. Okay, so here's the thing. The uh, Let's get the old torch out. There is nothing in here. These things are always empty, but you can. You see, you can knock the walls out. You can't make a roof, but you can use the walls for a uh, building, if you should so wish. I don't wish. I'm just looking around. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Just swimming. Oh, there is a there is a little wreck over here. So there are the skeletal remains of a wreck. What we can do is we can search. I thought there was treasure here. I genuinely thought there was treasure here. I don't know why. Oh, well. All right. Okay, fine. Um, so there's a wreck there and a wreck there. It feels like we're crouching, but I don't think we are. Oh, oh yeah, no, we, we absolutely were crouching. Okay, fine. Okay, we'll do it. I think what we'll do is we'll wait till the morning and then we can explore the wrecks in the morning. At least then we can see if there's a shark coming at us. <gasps> or a poison boy, which we're about to step on. Hmm. Yeah, because we should be able to see that wreck, and we can't. It's it's me mere meters away. And completely Yeah, alright. So I'm gonna gonna go back and make a little campfire and stuff. I think we we can there's another wreck over there. Nice. Yes, well don't adjust your TV sets. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's just it's just the shadows being scary. I think we're still very much on the edge of the world where we are. So there's a reason you can't see islands in those directions, because there are no islands in those directions. So I think that is probably represents the furthest out you can go. For a second there I thought I heard a... Wait, do you guys make noise when you're walking around? Oh yeah, they do. They make little noises. I thought it was a snake, but it's not a snake. It's the sound of... Oh, hello. Would you like to become dinner? Ah, oh, no! Ah, I'm dinner! I don't want to become dinner! Don't... No, please die! Oh, I don't... There we go. Actually, do we have a knife? I... Can't remember. They're not hard to make. Can't remember if we've got a knife. Hmm. So we've come quite far from home, and one of the issues is that uh, we are going to... Bonk, bonk, bonk. Uh, we're going to have a problem with um, a problem finding pictures of the queen. No, the all the all the farms that we had on our home island are now dead. Absolutely, one hundred percent. They're donezo. Nothing left. Right. Okay. Question is, do we make a smoker? Or oh, that's troubling. That's really troubling. Oh, I don't like that at all. I'm gonna pick these up. Then we should be able to. There we go. What's troubling? What's got you? What's got you so worried? Out there. That's the radar. Um, well, that's the radar from my yacht. My least favorite wreck because it is a big wreck and it's very scary and they tend to be in deep water. Don't like that particular wreck. Um, if you want a trigger for thalassophobia. Well, that's one of them. Anything sort of underwater and big. So we can cook two bits of crab on there. I wonder if there's any more... Hmm. Hmm. I can't remember actually what we need to make a smoker. And that would be quite advantageous. Three sticks. The fire pit that we have. Three sticks, one lashing, and one cloth. Uh, I was like, do we have any bits of cloth on the island? Because the cloth used to be tarts. If you remember from the early days, the early days, yes, the early days, there used to be tarpaulins. Now we have cloth on the raft. I think we have everything we need, uh, except the sticks. Okay, yeah, we can do that. All right, I'll get some sticks on the way through the island, and we can then smoke the crab. The crab will smoke overnight. One, two, I think it was three sticks. We can do that. And... Okay. The lashing so we got most of the stuff most of the stuff so if we come back here turn the torch on make sure we're not stepping on anything poisonous uh grab ourselves we do have rations 
There you go. Grab that. Come back. And then what we should be able to do is... Oh, there's a tarp right there. Give it a little turn with Q and E. There we go. Uh, oof. I, I kind of... Hmm. I thought we might have to have to do something different, but then, uh, uh, but fortunately we didn't. Oh, I'll just put that in the bottom. Right. Uh, do we have a knife anywhere? I should imagine it'll be one of the original containers. If it's anywhere, time of day is 17.42, so the sun is going down. There it is. We have loads and loads and loads of lashings. Uh, loads of rations and lashings. Lashings of rations. We've got lashings and rations, you. Well, I wonder what we're going to be doing with those. I should imagine... Cooking? Yes. Oh. <laughs> the gyrocopter's all lit up. As if we're going to go somewhere. A little journey with a gyrocopter. No, no, no. So what we can do is... That's going to light up the lantern. You brought the lantern onto the beach. Yes, I did. So, hold on. E. There we go. So what we can do is take the crab and turn the crab into crab sticks. Ah, uh, crab sticks is something that I recognise. Yes. Typically made from whitefish, not actually crab, and just dyed uh, with pink dye. So they're called crab sticks, but they're not actually just like white bait or something. I don't know. I don't know. Not enough room in the inventory. Slap, 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 and slap. Okay, so we can pick that up, that up. Switch to the kindling and then light the fire. You can disable the left and right clicks if you... Oh, why did I do that? So if you want to disable the left and right clicks, you can actually do that. That will that, that is a thing that you can do. There's more! Look! There were so many bits of cloth right here that we didn't need to... Didn't need to worry ourselves. Didn't need to worry ourselves. So what we can do is we can save and sleep. Uh, the raft is now lit up because it's night and we have lanterns in the raft. This is lit up because we found a... well, we put a lantern down. Um, so yeah, if we save and sleep, that'll take us through to the more... We might need to eat and drink first thing, but we can, yeah, save and then sleep. Uh, yeah, so we kind of win the lottery, so we put that out. We can take the food. Oh, we can't. We can only pick up one bit of food. Which gives us a significant amount of, yeah, a significant amount of um, energy just for those medium, medium meats. So we can have the water that we made on the other island. One more. There we go. And we are kind of recovering health. How do we get damaged? I can't remember. No, it's inefficient. But it does mean that we are now, okay. Uh... So tippity top on the food and water now means that we're recovering health. So you need you need it in that last last block, and then health will go up. If you don't, your health won't go up, and you'll be sad. And things, oh, the shadows. We should really go back to Home Island at some point. I mean, we never left with the intention of doing anything specific. Oh, we do have some antidote. Is that antidote or is that? Oh, that's aloe. And we have large meat. We, ne we never needed to do that, but we did it. So we're not going to go hungry anytime soon. Excellent, excellent, and excellent. Good, well, we made it through to another morning. Um, yes, so going back to Home Island is going to be tricky, because I think it's just generally in that direction. Just kind of go in that direction, and you'll eventually find what you're looking for. Uh, it is 7.23 in the morning. The trouble with that is, the trouble with tribbles is that the underwater is very dark until you get to about 9 or 10 o'clock. The, again, the, the wreck is right in front of us. Oh, crikey! Oh, hey, that was a poison boy right there. There's a shark right there as well. I'm going to get up on this rock because one of the things they can't do, if they can swim through the islands, is they can't swim through the rock because the rock has a, uh, a collision box. Ah, oh, I told you. I told you. You need to be kind of earlier in the morning. 12 hits. We only need 8 hits. The sea does look like a, 
a bit of a mess. It looks like you're running DLSS on it, but really old DLSS. Uh, I don't know where that shark went. Well, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and it's still going to be quite dark underneath the water. Oh, look, all I wanted to do is show that the water is dark and then a freaking hammerhead shows up. And the trouble with the hammerhead is they are very fast. Um, I keep seeing, like, white caps. There's, there's little bits of white foam. I'm thinking, ah, is that the tail? Is that the tail as it swims past? No. We don't have the crab, we don't have the crab music. Oh, I wish there was crab music. Crab rave, that would be great. Um, we don't have the shark music, so it's triggered, as in we've been in the spawn zone for it to spawn, but what we haven't done is actually... Shark's not attacking, technically. Okay, okay, okay. So if we go underwater, we can just about see... We're in the same place, we can just about see the wreck. Now... I'm hugging these rocks because I think the shark won't be able to collide with them. What we could do is get on the wreck and then we'll be able to see it a little bit better. Um, 8.42, so it's nearly 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to wait until... I mean, it's not going to take too long. I think it's one... Uh, what is it? 1,000, uh, 1, 2,000, 3,000... Yeah, about 3 seconds a minute. So if you're like, oh, it's 8.51, every three seconds that minute's going to change. Right, okay, so the shark showed up, was curious, and I think it might have despawned. Not entirely sure, so 8.58, 8.59, 9 o'clock. Extra day survived and we can see more of the wreck. 10 o'clock is the optimal time for doing that. Okay, get up on another thing. There we go. Oh, rations. Lovely. Wonderful, wonderful. Don't see the shark anywhere. Don't know where he could be. I mean, he's going to be around us somewhere. That's just the normal day music. Mm. Okay, fine. Uh, can I open the door from here? The door's on the other side. Why would the door be on the other side? Okay. Nope. Um, don't see him. I don't see him. Bonk. Okay, cool. Oh, rations. Can't. Oh, hang on a sec. Uh, drop that. Oh, didn't want to do that. Okay, got an idea. Uh, put the rations in there. Put the thing in there. They ignore the bubbles. That can go in our pants. And now we need to get out and up before we drown. Well, it's now nearly 10 o'clock in the morning. And as you can see, we can see much more. We can see freaking miles and miles of stuff. So between 10 and 2 is the optimal time if you're worried about swimming underwater. If you're worried about it, that's the optimal time. Don't know what happened to that shark. That's a white tip reef shark. Uh, the sharks are actually on normal, if you didn't know. So the sharks are just normal. That's just how they how they do, how they be. I wonder if we go over here and he'll spawn. Oh, I don't know. Grouper. Up. Oh. Yeah. Spawn, don't know where he is. Don't. Spawned and then despawned, apparently. Huh, weird. <gasps> is that him? Nope, that, that's completely different. That, she's friendly, that's the whale shark. Hey, whale shark. Bloop. Yeah, so the whale shark's fine. She's one of the big friendly sharks. She shouldn't she shouldn't turn up on an island. And yet, here we are. Really curious about the player, which is why she keeps turning up and, and sort of trying to swim around us. Hello. Hello. We're pipe pals. 
Um, okay, well, I'm going to have to leave it there for the time being, because otherwise this episode is going to get really, really long. So we came from one island to another island to this island, and nearly, nearly beans the raft by having the gyrocopter sliding all over the place. In fact, we came from over there, made ourselves uh, breakfast, and found a shark, and then found a different shark that we didn't think we were going to find, and got some rations. That's kind of it, I guess. And also doing Battle with the Sun. So, yes, I'm leaving it there. If you like this, definitely leave a little like. Uh, leave a subscribe. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, it does help the channel. Uh, you can click the little bell, but to be honest, just, just checking the channel every now and again for new videos is probably easier since YouTube is being a bit of a butthole at the moment. And I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>